Hey, what's up guys? GhostDog559 here with another amazing gaming video. And today, I'm playing a new Battle Royale game called Rome Royale. I recently got bored of Fortnite. I know that might be crazy saying, but I got bored. So I looked in and found this game. I actually kind of like this game, and so do my friends. But I'm not playing with them right now. These are my first impressions. I have played a bit, so I'm not going to be a complete noob at the game. I've done the tutorial, done a bunch of matches. I've won five matches so far. And I'm pretty decent at the game. I don't get wins all the time, like most people do in Fortnite. But this game is a very good concept. It has a lot of bugs. It's in beta. And I just think we should just get into this game. Let's do some solo matches. I really like the art style of this game, it's a very, um, colorful one, but it looks a little bit more serious than Fortnite. It also has a battle pass, but for, um, PS Plus members, it's free, surprisingly, which is pretty awesome. And this game has a built-in class system, so I could be, like, a warrior, assassin, hunter, or mage character. And they all have different abilities, depending on what's your playstyle. This loading screen showcases a... a wild assassin with his sniper rifle. And I think that's Jaguar... Cliffs behind it, I don't know, Jaguar's Claws? I think that... might be. This game is kind of buggy. It kind of looks a lot like Wizard 101, if you guys have ever heard of that game. I played it a lot whenever I was younger. And I don't know, I just find it it looks like that kind of, this graphics. See, there's a ch class system. I'm going to be Warrior because I like playing as him. And it kind of has this style. Kind of looks serious, it's still colorful and friendly. It's not like PUBG, absolutely broken. And soon you're gonna see why this game is so special. As you can see, if you look around, you see those, um... These little icons, these are forages. And basically what you do at a forage is, you build weapons. You can create weapons. There is no base building in this game, like in Fortnite. But there are like sentry turrets and abilities that you could use. To somewhat be like that, but... That'd probably be straight up copying. Coming down. Superhero landing. And you immediately get into the game. I might die here because I just really want to showcase the game more than trying to win. Under fire. Immediately we end contact with an enemy. I'm very bad at shooting. There, perfect. First kill! Pretty good. Pretty easy first kill. But uh, yeah, that's really one of the first guns. My favorite gun's probably the revolver and slug rifle, but there are many other weapons you could use in this game. Like the shotgun. You could, as you can see, I'm scrapping the weapons that I don't want, or anything else I don't want. And I can go over here to the forage and craft some new things. There are some problems like the hitboxes of walls and stuff. Uh, that's one of the major problems. That's only one of the major problems. Right here, here's the... Let me just open this chest. Right here is a forge. I could craft some armor potions and health potions. That's all I can craft right now. 
And now I have to wait for it to craft. Alright, now it feels like I'm going up against Fox. Get clucked. There are kind of little meme things they say, isn't there? And there, there we have it. Our first craftables. And we could just armor. drink this. In the bottom left, you can see all the things I have, like lives. Because you, it's not typical Fortnite where you revive yourself. Okay, yeah, these guys seem like bots. Yeah, why are these guys doing that? Okay, um, I'm not this good. I'm actually not that good. I don't know why I'm doing so well right now. Yeah, the game is kind of easy. I think lots of people have lagged on this game. I don't know. Uh, yeah, my character is um, specialized in melee combat, which I barely do in this game. I I'm sad. Oh, I got my legendary ability. There are different tiers of abilities and weapons, and that's pretty cool. There's squad modes, duos modes, and the art style of the game I think is really cool. The game in itself kind of feels like Borderlands or something, but it's a 100 player survival game. This is a rune, it's kind of like perks for your character. I think they're really cool. And this perk that I just picked up makes me faster. Very fast. And the ability I have in the bottom right makes my character throw like a little flask of healing. Kind of like the healing potions that I crafted. But it'll auto heal me over a period of time. There are also airdrops in this game. Which I'm going to one right now. And it tells everybody in the game whenever you pick it up. Not not really, it just disappears from the map, showing everybody that somebody's already captured it. Like that. It's a shotgun, deploy turret ability. I already have that rune, so I'll scrap it. And I think I'll get the upgrade shotgun. Because that's just overpowered. And the game does have a circle, which closes everybody in. If you guys haven't played a battle royale scenario game, or if you don't play video games at all. Which some of you might not. Because I know a couple people that don't play video games. That's weird. Oh, Mounting I found up. that weird. That was, I <laughs> thought that was glowing. Yeah, the airship travels around the map over and over again, looking for areas to drop its weapon caches that I just bought, that I just um, found right there. And you can only craft one thing from a forge at a time. Say you craft some shield potions, you can't craft those shield potions again until you make it to a new forge around the map. About the map, the map is humongous. And I think I hear a treasure goblin. Which is basically a moving loot llama from Fortnite. A lot of things that I find better than Fortnite in this game, but that's entirely in my opinion. This is weird. I actually never saw that before. Maybe a mage goes here? Oh, wait a second, that'd be weird. If that all does something. Yeah, those noises that you're hearing is probably a treasure goblin somewhere around here. With friends, this game's a lot- oh! A lot funnier, I think. Die, you little heathen! Oh, he's glitched. <laughs> I never movement speed perk. Wow. 
There isn't really anything I want from here that I want. So I'm not going to take it. Though I could probably replace something for my revolver. <coughs> I really do like revolvers. I might try to get a new one. That smoke, I think, means that there's somebody crafting something in here. And there's somebody in here. You better be careful. That person probably is going for a high ground advantage if they know I'm here. This is actually kind of scary. There you- I see you! See you, buddy. Yeah, it really does feel like there's a bunch of bots in this game, doesn't it? Take cover! Good luck! Yeah, there are quite a few me me things that they say. Oh, better revolver. I require that. On the move. This person might shoot me as I'm running. I'm not a coward, I'm just uh very bad at this game. Ish. Not bad, not good. Mostly not good. <laughs> this is actually a fir my first battle royale game that I'm actually good at. Which is a plus. I don't know. <laughs> I like this game. I don't know what your thoughts about it are. But I am working on some very big projects on my YouTube channel. One of them is being another kind of ghost vlogs video. But if you guys have heard of EA. EA like Electronic Arts. The gaming company. Take cover. Delicious healing. Yeah, I'm not good. This isn't good. Yeah, your character turns into a chicken after you take enough damage. I might die. Darn it! Yeah, as you can see, I'm pretty bad at the game. Place 20 seconds. That's really just my first impressions on the game. It's not really much of a first impressions. I All my friends kind of like this game. And it's a lot, fun, a lot more fun on squads or duos. Because you actually win sometimes. I've won like about maybe two matches on solos. One on squads and two on duos. But that's really all I've won. And they have like a built-in leveling up system for your characters, which there is no way to pay to win in this. You have to just grind to get this stuff. And then you go into here, you go into your loadout, and then you just give yourself perks, kind of, in-game. So you might be better than everybody else once you're high enough level. Three other classes. They have a battle pass, and it's free for PS Plus members. They do have their own pay-to-win currency, but I don't really use it. Because you'll need it. And they do have a rainbow pack right now. And it's all rainbow unicorn stuff. And a founder's pack, and a shop kind of thing. This game is in beta, so it has lots of bugs, like with the map. And sometimes your game freezes. Your game freezes quite a bit bit if you're not careful. The hitboxes are probably my least favorite thing. And if you're a new player, it's kind of hard to get into a party with somebody else. Those were my first impressions. I don't know if this video was short or not, but I will record more if you guys enjoy this. And this has been Ghost Dog 559 with another awesome gaming video. Goodbye! <laughs>